The focus for grounded theory is that the theory produced is grounded in the data. So the object is to look at the data, allow the data to speak to us, and then we will then engage that theory with other theories out there. So the data has primacy, but it is not unrigorous. We do have to look at the literature. I love grounded theory, and it's because it allows the data to speak for itself. And you can build relationships between concepts. Now, third key point, those nascent theories or models, like the one I've just shown you, are then related to larger theories, which is why, in my view, abstraction is important. OK, so no one is saying that you don't grapple your emergent theory with what else is going on. To not do so would be unscholarly. You really do have to take account of the literature at that stage. It is permissible to use patterns from existing theories at the theoretical coding stage. And you can see that the idea of contestation is probably not that new. If I looked at the literature, I would find something about contested space, I'm sure. Now, my advice also is to try using paper and pen or word before using a package as in vivo just to get used to the coding process. This is what I always advise my students because I find learning two things at once is challenging. So if you've got the double cognitive layer of dealing with en vivo and dealing with grand theory analysis for the first time. Having said that, obviously, en vivo is amazing for getting patterns across the data and also helping you store the data. Ninda直觉,我们的软体。买正版软体找齐全企业有限公司。同一编号。Cheer Chain Enterprise distributes and sells software with the aim of offering clients guidance. When choosing software, as well as technical support, 